All right, let's try that again. <laughs> so many tech things, y'all. So I forgot to turn my mic on. That might be the reason why you didn't hear me. So let's start this again. Hi, everyone. This is Jen with Jen's Den Art, and I am here to welcome you to another New Technique Wednesday on this beautiful Wednesday day. We are on New Technique Wednesday number 34, and if you saw the um, announcement, hey, Tina, hey, Tracy, yes, 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 um, I am trying out some things with my acrylic paints to see if I can turn them into watercolors. So that's what we're doing today. That is what our new Technique Wednesday is all about. Um, tell me hello. Tell me where you're watching from. I want to know. And I also have a giveaway today, which let me go ahead and set this baby up before I even give it away. Hang on a second. I have a giveaway today. Giveaway, giveaway. Let me set this up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stream yard. Yard.com slash. Okay, there we go. Let me get this baby set up. Okay, here we go. So <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to give y'all the option to win something today, but you got to have to, you're going to have to stay with me for just a little while until I tell you what it is. And I think you're going to love it. Um, for those of you who are my followers, I really appreciate it. Hey, Lynn. Don't do good with giveaways or drawings, Michael. You'll do good with giveaways or drawings. Just hang on. Um, Tina Youngblood says, I'm so excited to be here. Tina, we are excited to have you here. So um, Pat says that she has sprinkled Miss Faye. Hello today, everyone. I'm so glad that y'all are here today. Francisco, I love every time you post this. God Almighty blesses you all very greatly. We appreciate that, Francisco. Thank you for being here with us. Tell us where you're coming from. Sandra is coming from North Carolina. Dolores is coming from Southeast Idaho. Um, Kim is coming from New York. Yay. All right. Y'all are doing awesome. Thank y'all all so much for being here. Um, Jean is coming from Mississippi. Y'all, isn't this amazing that we can all come together and, and be together in this situation? Um, I know that there are many situations out there right now where COVID is, is getting rampant again for the third time. And Lord, you know, all we have to do is just keep on praying to him and hold us faithful and just keep us, you know, getting through all of this. So Brenda is coming from Florida. So um, Susie is coming from Northern Nevada. That is so awesome. Sandy is in California. Hey, Sandy, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm so glad you're here with us. Lynn's coming from Georgia and Tina is coming from Florida again. So amen, amen. Michael says amen. So I am just, I'm so excited that all of y'all are here today. Teresa's coming from Alabama. I love it. Okay, so I am coming from the beautiful state of Montana. Although probably if you're new, you probably recognize the accent is not a northern accent as well. So two and a half years ago, my husband and I moved to Montana because we wanted to live this life for, for a short period of time or a long period of time. We're not sure. We wanted to have the mountain living experience. So we are having the mountain living experience. Um, and we started this two and a half years ago, but we're, we are originally from Louisiana. 
born and raised to both of us for the first 49 years of our lives. We are originally from Louisiana and we are actually heading to Louisiana in a few weeks to visit some family. So hopefully we'll get some crawfish when we get there. So culture shock. Yes, ma'am, Miss Loretta. <laughs> Definitely culture, sh culture shock. So um, you got off the walker. Yay, Sandy got off the walker. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So we are going to um, give away something today. And I'll tell you in a minute what we're going to give away. And I will also tell you um, how you can win that giveaway in just a minute. So this is what we are going to do today. Um, if you're new to me, I'm like I said, I'm an acrylic artist. I have two memberships of where where we get together either once a week or once a month and we paint using acrylics and you can probably see some of the paintings behind us and um in those memberships we basically deal with all we do is acrylic painting okay and um my membership is closed right now it's going to be opening up again pretty soon but in the meantime, we have a pop-up paint party. I call a pop-up paint party. This is going to be a $10 party where we are going to paint a Valentine's bouquet. Okay, if you are a tribe sister or mister, if you are a tribe member, you get in this painting for free. This is an additional painting that we're going to do. It's like a bonus painting for our tribe members. Um, if you are not in any of the tribes, you are going to pay $10. The registration is not open yet. It is coming soon. Um, and if you are a mini triber, which is the one painting a month, you are going to get in at 50% off for that. Okay, so just wanted to throw that out there. So here's what we're going to do today. I started this, of course, about 34 weeks ago. I started this New Technique Wednesday where we come on live and we learn something new. Even I am learning something new as we are live. Okay. So um, I was a, I was a high school math teacher for 23 years. And so it doesn't bother me because, you know, some of my students were like smarter than I was. So it does not bother me at all to go, in and try something new without even knowing how it's going to turn out. Okay, I think it's a great learning experience. So this is what we're going to do today. I am taking, I'm going to show you what I have. I am taking some six by six, you can use any size paper you have, but I have some watercolor paper that I've been having hanging around and I haven't done anything with. This is of course from um, Hobby Lobby because you can see the uh, Master's Touch, that's a Hobby Lobby brand. Okay, so I picked up some watercolor paper and I'm just going to tape the back of this with some regular painter's tape. The only reason I'm doing that is so it doesn't move around too much on me when I put it down. Okay, and I am going to use this as a watercolor paper and we're actually going to try to produce a watercolor painting. But remember, I told you earlier, I'm an acrylic artist. So y'all see this extra, I'm going to kind of point to it right here so y'all can see. Y'all see this extra video screen right here. I'm going to start placing some acrylic paints on that painting palette. And the first color that I'm putting is a blue. Any color blue you want. It does not have to be this phalo blue that I have in my hand. It could be any color blue that you want. And I basically just went on my acrylic painting stash and I started grabbing, grabbing a bunch of colors. Because remember, this is a new technique. So we're learning this together. So I want to make my painting look like a watercolor painting. But... I don't really know if it's going to work. I have a feel. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this live right now if I didn't have a pretty good feeling of how it's going to work out. Um, and if you don't mind, if you can sprinkle the love 
that would um, that would really help in this situation here. I love when you sprinkle the love so we can get more people to find me that have never found me before. So it's so much fun when you do that as well. So I have a red, cadmium red deep hue, it, just any kind of red, doesn't matter. This is a prism violet, so it's like a deep purple. This is a cadmium yellow, and this is a light magenta. And then, of course, I have my blue. So I went with some really like, oh, and I have a green. So basically kind of like rainbow colors, except the orange. So I have a green as well. So there we go. I'm going to put very, very little. Also have a big container of water in front of me. Okay. So I have a big container of water. I have all of these colors. Oh, and, and of course you need your white and your black. Don't forget about your white and your black. You always use white and black for everything. So I'm going to grab some white and put a little bit of white on my palette. I'm going to grab y'all. If you, if you've painted before, you know that black goes very far. So I need very, very little black. I'm going to put some red, very little, because we're going to make these all into watercolors. I'm going to put very little purple, almost like a, like a drop of each one. Um, I'm going to spread them out because I'm going to be adding water to them. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of magenta. It's like a hot pink. I really like that color. And then, of course, I already have my blue. So can y'all see all of the colors I just added? Let me show y'all one more time. Here we go. Okay, so we've got blue, we've got red, we've got purple, a really deep purple, black, white, green, pink, and yellow. All right, paint brushes. Here we go with the paint brushes. This is a Royal and Lang Nickel. It doesn't matter what kind it is. This is what I want you to look at. I'm using a round brush. Here's another one that would probably work well. This one would probably work better because it looks newer, doesn't it? So it's a round brush. Let me get this thing to focus in for me. Hold on. We have a, I have a little bit of a, a focus problem. Let me see if I can fix this for us really quick. Do y'all see the focus problem? Let me see. I'm trying to pull up my camo studio. Well, maybe not. Is it still blurry? Let me go back still have a little blur problem. Give me just a second. I'm going to try to fix this with my, my app that I have. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can fix it. Still looks a little blurry, huh? Does it look blurry to y'all? I'm trying to get this thing set. Autofocus. Okay, I think that might be better. Let me know if it's better. It's, uh, it doesn't look better to me. 
Okay, it looks better. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's keep on going here. Okay, all right, so I think I'm going to use this one instead of this one. Can y'all see the difference? This one's just a little bit longer and it looks nicer and cleaner. So I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to dip into my water. Y'all have a ton of water here. And I think I'm going to use blue first. I'm going to actually do two different things. Um, the first one I'm going to do is a, a watercolor flower arrangement. Okay, so look at all. I'm, I'm like putting a lot of water. A lot. I don't even probably need this much paint that I have down here, but I'm just using it just because it's there. Okay, so water, lots and lots and lots of water. And I'm going to start, yeah, that's what I want. I'm gonna start, look at that. I am not a watercolor artist. I've actually never done watercolor ever, except right now, what you see me doing. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and there's one thing that I've seen like some of my business buddies do when they use watercolor. They use a paper towel to like absorb the watercolor to come in behind. So I'm going to try this and I'm going to try it and see. Um, this is going to be a vase. Okay, this is going to be a vase. And the vase that I'm making is gonna have kind of like a, a bowl with my watercolor. See, this is totally, totally different than anything I've ever done. So I'm taking, I'm trying to make some areas darker than other areas. And so the thing about watercolor that I've learned very little about is that in order to make some areas lighter than other areas, you have to like almost pull up the paint to make it show. And so now I'm just coming with just water. I didn't even dip my paintbrush in. And look at that. Look at that. We actually have some kind of watercolor situation going on here. What do y'all think? Okay, this is going to be where my my shadow goes, you can not see much of it at all. So that's my vase, okay? I'm not gonna do anything else to that right now. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna see what happens. All right, I'm hoping, um, is it clear? I'm gonna go back and see if I can Get the focus right. Y'all let me know what y'all are seeing because I'm trying this new system here. That Okay, that looks a lot better right there. All right, still blurry. Let me know if it's, um, if it's better. That's it. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. So there's my first attempt at watercolor. Look, I already see a boo-boo. You see how when you do these like layers, I have two different layers right here. And like, there's no way for me to like erase a layer of watercolor from another layer unless I just put more watercolor over it, I guess. So let's try that. I really don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to have fun here. I think it's going to actually come out pretty darn good, if I might say so myself, because I've seen watercolor artists <laughs> do this kind of stuff. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. All right. So now I'm going to start making some flowers. And I'm going to grab this magenta color with a lot of water. Okay, it's a light magenta, but I'm going to make the same kind of watercolory consistency. I just keep on dipping my paintbrush in the water over and over again. And then I'm going to come up here. Look at that. And I'm going to make 
like some big circles with it. Okay, it's like pink flowers. All right. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. So just just watch and, and do it yourself. It's like fun. It's like, okay, let's just release some stress today, you know? So there's my pink flowers. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to add just a little bit of that pink in my reflection of my vase. And look what it's doing. It's adding like a purple. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is this is already beautiful. Okay, so let's get some depth going. We're going to add a little bit of red. I'm adding some red. I'm going back in. I'm dipping. I'm mixing up some red. I'm dipping. I'm mixing up some red. I'm making very, very watery red. And oh, look at that. And I'm going to spot some of this red. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to this. If I don't, if I think I put too much red, I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to absorb it. And look at that. Not only does it absorb the red, but it kind of absorbs the pink behind it. Okay. Now, I am using watercolor paper. So that's a good thing okay and i'm really just playing because i don't really know what i'm doing with this all right so there's some flowers i'm gonna make another flower right here in red just because i feel like it needs it i don't know if that's good or not okay so look at that i i put a red flower in here but then i took my my paper towel and I absorbed it and then it just kind of went away not all the way but it just kind of went away so I'm going to come back and just kind of swirl with this red let's see what happens all right that's not a bad situation there I'm going to take some of this purple because the red the pink and the purple are going to work really well together to give you some dimension there we go. So I'm dipping, going into a lot of color here. I'm giving all of my flowers a little bit of fun and love. All right. I don't know. I'm going to just tap and see what happens. Because I see, I don't know, I, I'm not a watercolor artist. I just want to let y'all know. But I'm liking this so far. It's really given you a lot of um, freedom in your painting process. Okay? So keep that in mind. It's given you a lot of freedom. So... What I just did was I dipped into just the water and I'm going to keep on dipping just in the water and I'm not going to add any more acrylic paints. And then I'm going to give me a little bit of yellow on my paintbrush. Uh, I really don't have an idea of what I'm doing. Okay. I just want to make sure y'all know that I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and put a little bit in the middle. Okay, I feel like I need to pull up some of that yellow. See, so here's the biggest difference between watercolor and acrylics that I can tell you right now. Watercolor is almost like removing and acrylics to get what you want. It's adding more color. Okay, so I don't know. What do y'all think? This is kind of stressful. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab some of this yellow and I'm just going to like make it really, really watery. Ooh, look how pretty. So 
What do y'all think? Can you use acrylics for watercolor paintings? Kind of feel like you can if you wanted to. Let's add a little bit of that. What do y'all think so far? The longer the paint is left before blotching, the darker it will be. Yes, ma'am, Miss Tina. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm finding out. It's almost like paintbrush is making it blurry. Oh, because I'm going in and okay, I see what you're saying. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more red in here. Just a little bit more of the red, just on the bottom right of each one of those flowers. And I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. See how it's adding a little bit of um, dimension, I guess. Okay, so I put the green out here because I wanted to add some leaves. So I'm going to make my acrylic green really, really, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna dab into the black as well and make it kind of dark. So now I'm going into my green and I'm adding a bunch, a bunch of water. And then I'm gonna come back in here I have no idea what I'm doing. Did I mention that already? I'm just kind of making some leaves. Everything is really, really. All right, let's make some stems. So this is a glass that you can see through. So I'm gonna pretend that I have some stems coming through. And That looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna come down here and make the stems again, but I'm gonna make them a lot lighter. This actually looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? For a watercolor painting. So all I'm using is acrylics, y'all. I'm being able to do this with acrylics. Is that not amazing that we can do this and just let it dry? Um, I think we need white, though, because we need to make those little areas. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a landscape in just a minute. So we need to make a couple of areas like highlights. So one of the areas we need to make highlighted is right here on the base of the vase. And then right here, I'm using white um, right about here. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed a little bit of white acrylic paint. And I'm just making a little bit of... Okay, this is my first watercolor painting ever. What do y'all think? <laughs> frozen, ah, frozen, frozen, frozen. Okay, let's see what I got going on. Is that what y'all see? Back to normal now. Can y'all see what I'm doing? <gasps> y'all. Not frozen now, yay! Y'all, this is an awesome painting. I'm not joking you, this was like so easy. Let me get, let me see, I, I know I took some out. Here's one. Let me get a, um, a Posca pen, okay, in white. All right, so it's still kind of wet. I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm gonna put this aside. Y'all, this painting is really pretty. <laughs> Move the pad off. Oh, this pad, see if that clears it up. All right, so let me move out just a little and see if that clears it up. I'm sorry, y'all, that we're having bad reception. That's obviously the issue.
Okay, how's that? Love it. I've always wanted to do watercolors. Misty, I've never done watercolors in my life and I feel like I just made a masterpiece by using acrylic paints. Is this not ridiculous? I love it. It's so much fun too. Look at that. It's beautiful. And we're not done with it. I'm actually, I'm going to highlight it with some Posca pen, like some whites and stuff. But we're going to do another one because this was so much fun that we're going to do another one. All right. So y'all have to get on board with me because we're going to do another one. So I'm taking another six by six. Okay. And we're going to start fresh and then we're going to come back. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and I'm going to get a new paper towel just in case I need it. Okay. So I'm going to get a new paper towel and y'all, I am starting, if you haven't heard, I am starting in my membership. One of the paintings that we do come springtime is going to be a plain air painting because I live in Montana. So how can I not do plain air paintings? Do y'all know what plain air, what a plain air painting is? Yeah, isn't it true, Connie? I'm hooked on watercolor. That was like so super easy compared to acrylics. I'm drinking my afternoon coffee. Okay, so plain air. It's PL. I'm going to put it in the comments. Pat says, yes, she knows what that is. So P-L-E-I-N, plain air painting. So I have decided that I am going to start doing plain air paintings, which are basically you take your, your equipment outside. And I just had for Christmas, I got a, blank, a brand new um, easel that is for outside. Like it has a bunch of little compartments that you can store all your paints in. And it has a tripod and it's an easel that you can bring with you. You can put it on your back. You can bring it with you on a hike. And then you psh, psh, pop everything out and you start painting on site outside. Okay, so that's called plain air painting. And so I am going to start. It's not going to be once a month. It's probably going to be like maybe like three or four times a year. I'm going to start adding that to my membership where we are going to go out on site because I live in Montana and I live in the mountains, the Rocky Mountains. OK, so our landscape scenes here are unbelievable and it would be ridiculous for me not to paint where we live. Look at this, how pretty. I'm so excited. So I'm going to try my first plein air painting right now with you because I'm going to show you what my view looks like outside at the moment. Okay, do y'all see that? Oh, let me let me bring it, hang on. Let me bring it larger so y'all can see it. So y'all can actually see what my view looks like. Okay, so that's my view. That's my view at the current moment. All right, we are in um, Northeast Montana and we're about 6,000 feet up. So I have a mountain view every day. We are blessed by that. So here we go. I'm gonna look outside right now and I am going to just paint this view. And I'm gonna try to start, okay, now this is watercolor. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to try to start like way, way far back is a really gray sky. So I'm going to use a little bit of this white and black. Okay, and you see acrylic painting, you start from the back and you work forward. But I have no idea if that's the the case for um for watercolor painting but i am going to use some of this blue just to be on the safe side i'm going to make like a gray a grayish a really really grayish um sky 
All right, y'all see that? Look, I got it. I think I got it. Look at that. All right, so my sky is going to be super, super neutral. And then like this area in the middle here, I'm looking outside at the moment, at the very moment that we are looking at right now. A lot of this is... Um, Right here in the middle is like this huge mountain range. Okay, so now you see I need my paper towel. See how it's starting to bleed? I don't want it to bleed like that. So I need my paper towel. There we go. So I have this huge mountain range back here that I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some of this grayish blue all right, so look at that. I made two sets of mountain ranges without even trying. Look at that. How awesome is that? Okay, so that's something that I'm learning. Okay, then I'm going to come in with some greens because on my, my mountain ranges on the side, I have a lot of trees. So i'm going to make this all right here we go we're bleeding again we don't want to bleed we want to just i really have no idea what i'm doing i just want to remind y'all of that i'm going to make this mountain range come in this way and then i'm going to go back to the blue I'm going to kind of fill this in right about here. Okay, so it kind of looks like I have some mountain ranges going on, right? What do y'all think? It's frozen again. It's frozen again. I think we use watercolor. You start with the lighter colors first and then add the darker colors. All right. Well, that's good to know because I did not do that. All right, so now I'm going to come right in here and I'm going to add very, very little. I'm going in the white mostly. I'm going to add very, very little white in here. See how it bled? That's okay. I'm going to try to fix it. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some trees. I'm just touching, touching, touching. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so I'm using a darker green. And I'm just like touching. Just tapping, tapping, tapping. I'm making some green trees here. One more layer. Y'all, I have to say, I'm pretty excited about what I've created. <laughs> Is this not awesome? Let me put a couple of trees right here. I'm going to make them darker because I'm coming closer to myself. So I'm going to make a couple of trees come all the way down. How we doing? Isn't this awesome? Could I never in a million years thought I could create a watercolor painting. And all I'm doing is using acrylics. I told y'all I'm not scared to try new things with y'all. So I'm making us some little trees right here just to make it like really close, you know, like we're kind of like close proximity. Like these trees are really close to us, basically, like right outside the window. I'm just kind of making that up as I go. And I'm going to add just a little bit. Oops, too much. I'm so used to taking paint off of my paintbrush 
But when you do watercolors, you need like more paint on your paintbrush. Does that make sense? Or more water on your paintbrush. I, I really don't know what I'm talking about, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. What did I just make? I made a masterpiece and I didn't even know I could do it. Look at that. Look what I just made. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this one off right there and see. Look at that. Is that not amazing? Okay, so now I have two pieces and I'm so excited because they came out even better than I ever thought they would. And I'm going to take a um a posca pen okay i'm gonna take a do this one's drier so i'm gonna take this posca pen and i'm gonna come in here and i'm going to use it with the white and i'm gonna kind of like highlight my little tree my little roses just a little bit. You can even use black if you wanted to. Is this not gorgeous? I have never, can I repeat to you? I have never done watercolor ever in my life. <laughs> and let's see, what are we going to do with this one? Um, I don't think I should touch this one, actually. I think it's pretty darn perfect the way it is. Do y'all kind of feel that way? Look what I just created. My first plain air painting in watercolor. <laughs> Masterpieces. Yay. You are so dang cute. I love how honest you are. <laughs> stuff. Leave it alone. Cindy says, leave it alone. Don't touch it. My first plain air painting from my window, from the view outside my window. Maybe it doesn't look exactly like this one, but look, look how cute. I have a different marker that might work better for this one. Let's see what this will do. This is a little bit different. I'm just going to play just a minute. Ah, there we go. I don't know what those dark spots are on there. Maybe it's just some acrylic paint that didn't convert to water water soluble. Okay, look at that. I'm just making some little squigglies. Perfect. There we go. So if you want to have fun and you want to just try different things, I just gave you some completely fun options for you to try watercolor with acrylics without having to go out and think that you have to buy a whole new set of paints and paintbrushes just to try another method, okay? So, um, yeah, I, I give you this in hopes that you will try some acrylic paints and just use a lot, a lot of water to make them. And the key here is, the key here is, so I'm just thinking back to everything that I learned through this process. The key here is to use watercolor paper, okay? I literally have watercolor paper, and they're little six by six, so it's a watercolor pad, okay? I just bought that one day because I thought one day I would try watercolors, and I never have, and I've been having this little pad for about a year, and this is probably the first time I ever use it, okay? So this is a, um, excellent for watercolor techniques. It's a cold press surface and it's a 140 pound paper so it's kind of thick it's kind of a thick paper you can see but it's super cute it's a little six by six pad that i bought and i am in love with what i created out of it so i hope you enjoyed and before we go i have a free giveaway for all of you and my free giveaway is this. I'm going to show you right now. So it is one of my products that I have made in one of our New Technique Wednesdays. I think it's a New Technique Wednesday. Maybe it was in our tribe. I'm not sure. And so how do you get the opportunity to win this? 
So this is what you have to do. Not only do you have to sprinkle this um, live, but you also have to comment in this stream yard or in this comment, you have to comment, sprinkle the love as one word, no spaces between it. Let me show you what it looks like. So type this in, sprinkle the love, no spaces, no spaces whatsoever. I'm hoping that it'll show y'all what I have here. So you get to win one of my original wooden shelf sitters. It is a six by six point setter. And so right now I need y'all to say, sprinkle the love with no spaces, no spaces at all. Just say, sprinkle the love. And that is automatically going to put you in the drawing. So make sure you actually sprinkle. Y'all all know what sprinkle means, right? Okay, so make sure you actually sprinkle. And I'm going to give y'all just like 30 seconds or so. Everybody put the words, sprinkle the love. Sprinkle the love. Okay, we got it. And all you have to do it is once. You don't have to do it more than once. It, it automatically adds your name in um, the drawing. Sprinkle the love. Sprinkle the love. Um, who was it? Faye, don't put any spaces. Faye Adcock, don't put any spaces between sprinkle the love. Okay, so I'm going to give y'all a few more. Marianne, don't put any spaces between sprinkle the love. Just type it in as one big word. Isn't this fun? All right, let's see if I can share my screen with y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me know if you can see my screen. There are 26 entries, 27 entries. Can y'all see that? Let me see. I'm going to try to sprinkle the love, sprinkle the love. No spaces. Sprinkle. Susie means S-A. Susie, it means S-H-A-R-E. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so y'all can see my screen. I have 28 entries so far. And... I'm so excited to give this away because it's probably one of my favorite items that I made. All right. So in the next 10 seconds, I am going to draw. I'm going to give you about 10 more seconds. So make sure you put sprinkle the love, sprinkle the love. And here we go. I am drawing now. Let's see who's going to win. Isn't this cool? I love it. Heidi Wolfenbarger, you are our winner today. Yay, Heidi. I'm so excited. Congratulations for you. Heidi is our winner. Woohoo. Yay, Heidi. Let me see if I can stop sharing my screen. Can y'all see me again? Congratulations, Heidi. H-E-I-D-I. -I. Congratulations, Heidi. I love that. Um, I love that, that, that I've added to my, to my lives. They're so much fun. So, all right, Heidi, do me a favor and um, message me your mailing address so I can get this to you. And thank you so much for being here and sprinkling the love for me. We really appreciate all of you. And remember coming up, Pretty soon, registration is going to open on January 15th. We're going to have registration for this um, pop-up paint party where you will be able to paint this Valentine bouquet with us live for four days. The actual event is going to take place February 1st, but registration for the event is going to start on January 15th. So I hope to see a bunch of you there and I will see you all next time on New Technique Wednesday. Bye, y'all have a great day. Talk to you later.